Well, hello there folks. So, this time around I thought to myself, why not make a video talking about the F-16 pitch axis discussion. Now, I made a Reddit thread uh, six or so days ago where I talked about how I feel, I felt that 60 to about 100% of the usable axis range in the F-16 appeared to be pretty much useless. Now this was a problem that I had been feeling for quite a while. I've been flying this module for multiple years now. And every time I would be in a dogfight I would have this feeling where I would want to pitch my stick all the way back and you know, to get to the 9Gs as quickly as I could. And then uh, as I would go around 500 knots and start dropping, I would want to generally alleviate that Gs to something below like 8 or 7, just to kind of maintain the speed. But I've noticed that every time I would go from like phys on my physical stick, every time I would go from 100% and to start relieving pressure to drop below 9 Gs, I would have to move my stick significant amount until it starts dropping the Gs. Now, this was not something that I perceived strange at the time. It was strange, but it wasn't really that big of a deal until... A week or so ago, I was kind of getting fed up and I was trying to figure out why the jet was behaving as the way it did. And then I dawned on me that, well, hey, if I do a turn and I pull more than 60%, nothing is being registered, right? So I made a Reddit thread, there was some discussion, and in today's patch, uh, there was indeed a patch note saying that the F-16 pitch axis... Uh, indeed had a 35% of a dead zone on its top end. So apparently they've changed something. From my previous testing, I felt that uh, anything above 60% was almost like you were commanding the plane to pull maximum Gs. So anything above 60 to 100 was useless. Now I've been flying on this patch for a couple of hours, testing the how, how the F-16 now behaves, testing some user curve, seeing how I can configure it to my liking. So if I bring this control indicator over here, uh, I've tested it now and it to me it seems about, well, first of all, it is improvement. It is an improvement over the last patch, that's for sure. So instead of 60% being the max, now it's not 100. It's around 80 to 85. It still gives you that better precision and stuff like that, but um, it's not as 100% as they make it out to be. Now, I will demonstrate with, uh, with this jet right now. So I'm going to go into Cat 1. Cat 3, Cat 1 doesn't really change anything, but it just kind of changes the onset acceleration of the G of everything. So either way, I'm in Cat 1, and I'll accelerate around 550. And if I do, I'm going to do a little bit of warm-ups, just so I don't black out instantly. I've also noticed that for... I don't know if it's just a placebo effect or not, but... The roll of the F-16 feels a bit better. I don't know. Previously, it would feel like it had a lot of inertia to it. Like you would roll and it, and the plane would still continue to roll. But now if I cancel the roll input by centering my stick, it just plants it's there. It, it, it almost feels more responsive, but uh, I'm not sure. Maybe I'm just overthinking it. Either way. So, after doing some G warm-ups, I'll go do about 550, and now I'm going to pull my stick all the way back. So, physical stick is equal to the in-game input, and now it's 9.0 to 9.2. Okay. Level off again. This time, I'm going to pull about 80%. So, I pull my stick back. That's about 80%. And now I'm pulling 9.3 Gs. So all of this part of the axis 
nothing is happening with the plane until I go around here. So that's about 80%, I would say. So it's not bad. Instead of instead of only having 60% of the axis available, now we have about 85 instead of 100. Why is it not 100? I'm not certain. Some people have said, well, have you tried going slower and stuff like that? I have, but uh, in my experience, it feels even more of the axis is being is not being utilized. So let's say I slow down to about 450 here. Right. I'm going to start doing afterburn turn at 450. So here I'm pulling 8.7 Gs. Right. 8.2, 7 point something. All right. So here, like I'm, 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 I'm removing the stick up to this point, and it's not doing anything. So this is about 60-50%. If I pull anything more than 50%, nothing extra. If I go about 40%, nothing. 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 30%, nothing. 20%, 15%, 15%, nothing, 10%, something starting to happen at 10%, and 5%, it's 2 Gs, so yeah, as you can see, the slower you go, I think the AOA indicator starts uh, being in control instead of the G indicator, so even less of the axis becomes useless but uh, to combat this i have made uh, a user curve now i own a mcg ultimate stick the gunfighter stick and on that stick i own um, those progressive cams so when i pull the stick back at about this position over here it gets a bit tougher and tougher and tougher to pull it all the way back now I made it so that when I hit about this point, you look at this out number on this user curve, it's going to pull about 80. So this means whenever I hit that soft maximum for me, I will hit about 9.3 Gs available. And then if I ever need to use the full stick back, I can just pull it back, right? And I've made um, the, this center bit a little bit more sensitive just so I can uh, uh, counter the, the the flight mechanics of the F-16. So one of the major annoyances for me in the F-16 is this effect where whenever I turn by a lot and I let the stick go and roll out, the plane will want to climb itself. This is purely because I've noticed that whenever you turn with the plane and stop, the attitude of the plane remains the same, and then the flight path marker needs a little bit time to catch up. And that's quite annoying because when you're in a turn, you have to stay in a roll, wait for it to kind of level out, and then roll out. Otherwise, you're going to start pitching up like crazy. Or if you don't want to do that, you have to kind of counteract the stick by pushing it down which is not something you have to do in any other plane. Um, so for example, if I want to roll out immediately, I have to push and then push it down to counter it. It's, it's very annoying. So I kind of need that uh, increase uh, of sensitivity so I can actually have enough of force to push the counter, the rise of the flight path marker uh, before uh, I go above the horizon. It's just something I've noticed. Well, either way, that's uh, my findings regarding this uh, today's update. If anyone finds anything interesting, please let me know.